The problem is, if I were on my deathbed, I would still show up. And mom is so used to me, Courtney, uh, me and Chloe, going on our deathbeds. No, you'll, you get anxiety and it's like hard. Are you kidding me? Like I literally will come at you right now. Why? I swear to God. I was just expressing that Kylie not going to Paris and how my mom's freaking out and crying and begging us. She's so used to me and Chloe showing up, especially Chloe, like we would have gone no matter how sick we are. That's just who we are and who we've always been. I've been sick as been having major panic attacks. I work my ass off Who when I'm sick or not. I just said, mom is so used to it. And then I said, me, Courtney, me and Chloe, do, you know, whenever, if we're sick, you don't care about stuff. Like if she, if it's a but Saturday. But you act like I don't do shit. Do you know all I you have this, this narrative in your I'm mind? Not saying that no, you no, 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 I will literally you up. <laughs> if you mention it again, literally shut the up and don't laugh like that. You look like a freak. Okay, but honestly, change the narrative in your mind. I work my f***ing ass off. I just, I, I don't want to hear this narrative anymore about this work ethic, and she's the only one with work ethic, and she's doing this, this, and this, as if she's better because she works more or because, like, it's such bullshit. We don't all have to do things the same way. But also, if I didn't want to work my ass off and I wanted to be a stay-at-home mom, that's f***ing fine, you f***ing literal f You're literally I will wrong literally with you. you up. Come here. You guys, my daughter's sleeping. Don't ever come at me like that. You Don't, I stop. swear to God, I'll punch you in your face. So do it. Don't f*** with me. I swear do to God. Do it already. Don't f***ing use Dilly your and nails Dilly. at me. Stop. Okay. Stop, you too. Okay. Stop. <laughs> Go to your own corners. Wait, no, no. Come. The crew is ever. Then shut the f*** up. Ever. You do it or shut the f*** Never okay. dig your nails in me like that. Stop it. How f***ing old are you? How f***ing old are you? Stop. Stop. Guys, stop. stop. <gasps> you guys, stop it. How old am I? Stop, stop. How old are you? Don't. Both of you. OK, separate. No, no, no. You Don't. two, stop. Never. Guys, stop it. Dig your nails in me. You guys, stop. <gasps> Courtney. 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 You guys, stop. One minute they're laughing, the next minute they're slapping each other. Like, what the f is happening? This is crazy. F***ing whore. I can't believe this has gone this far for them to physically assault one another. It's that's so just, you don't, we don't treat sisters like that. Courtney, why would you slap her like that? She just did it. You me both too. did it, but no. So don't to only do that. come to me. You're the only one Shut here. The How is your reaction violence? Why were you about to hit me? Are you crazy? I'm not gonna hit you, but you just shut up. And don't take someone else's side. I did. That's my issue with Stop you. Stop pointing your finger like this at me. Oh, point down. my finger. You shut the up. Courtney, if I hit you, you would be knocked the out. Good. Do it. I don't resort to violence. You're crazy. Look, she with me for too long. I'm not gonna hear it anymore. You okay? Yeah, but she's gonna get the out of here. She came on me. Kim, come on. I'm so confused at what just happened. I just don't understand who Courtney's become. It's like, who does this? She didn't even know what I was gonna you guys, say. my daughter's sleeping. But she should leave. She's literally okay. bleeding. No, it's crazy. I'm not about violence and I don't wanna go there, but I just literally just like saw red and like I wasn't gonna let her think that she could attack me and get away with this. I think you guys need to separate. She's the problem and she should leave. That's in your head too. You have no, this everyone narrative in your head. Everyone who? Chloe? Chloe Me. doesn't know what the I'm When have I had any interaction Kylie. with you guys? I will never Everybody be around you guys. Down. There's no need. Get Bye. out. Exactly. Get out. So our lunch is not at the Beverly Hills Hotel today. So oh. open up your invite to see where Paris, we're going. Paris, France? What? what? Oh, we're going to France. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, she's crying. Oh, she's crying already. I'm going to cry too. Oh, I know. Okay. You're like, what? Big disclaimer. So cute. I did not buy it. Yes. I rented it for the day. I did not buy it. We're having 
lunch on the tennis court. I was gonna say, can we play tennis oh like we used to do? God. So we get a tour of the house. Oh, uh, guys, Celeste so just said this is the wallpaper in the kitchen. Oh, it is! You're right! Our old kitchen wallpaper, it's super identifiable, and I think if anybody- I'm glad everyone noticed, because we of had to course. get it drawn again. I had to take pictures- There's no way. From our childhood and make a pattern of that. Just the amount of effort and detail that went into this makes my mom feel so special. Hey, how are you? So, maybe I can plead his case with um, the governor and bring his attorney in, maybe someone from the Innocence Project. You know, he's getting executed in less than 30 days. And for someone, if there's even a chance that he didn't do it, you know? This time right now is so crazy hectic for me. I'm still in law school, and I've still been working with Cut50, the law firm, on cases all the time in the past month. So many people were messaging me and talking about Rodney Reed. And when I see something enough times, I definitely wake up and pay attention. Rodney was convicted of murdering a young woman, but the evidence that put him behind bars is now in question. On death row, nearly 22 years, Rodney Reed just days away from execution. I'm innocent of this case. I got my attorneys involved. Because this execution is coming up so soon, it's like an emergency. We have to do what we can now. He has an innocence investigation happening right now, but his execution is set before that's gonna be finished. Okay. That doesn't make any sense at all. So they're just asking for a 30-day extension of his execution. Yeah. So that they can finish the investigation. I think it would be extremely important for the courts to take time to make sure that all evidence has checked out. Why won't the state just test the DNA? Like, and they won't? Mm-mm. That's so up. This is like a movie. Every case is like a movie. Every single case.